underneath this. It's not good. They're good. Well. Mmm. I'm eating this ice cream for purely medicinal purposes. No, really, this is strategic preparation for my next operation related to cancer. Really, I'm growing my bosom on my belly. Or rather, my belly will soon become my bosom. Whatever. After much thought, personal debate, and consultations with several different doctors, I have decided that I will soon undergo my fifth major cancer surgery in less than two years. I've been very open about um, my ordeal, including complications, and this latest complication is related to radiation that has caused one of my reconstructed breasts to become hard, deformed, painful. The condition is called capsular contracture, and it can happen to anyone who has breast implants, but it is more common in people who have had radiation as I have, because radiation just does funky things to the skin and its ability to heal. In my case, the scar tissue that is surround that, that forms surrounding the implant has caused lasting problems. So very soon I will undergo an operation that is essentially a transplant surgery. Doctors can actually move abdominal fat up to the chest, essentially creating new breasts. This is a transplant surgery. It may last eight hours long. And uh, just like a transplanted kidney or a liver or a heart, the skin requires a microsurgery to reconnect all those little tiny blood vessels so that the skin can live in a different place. The advantage is it is my own skin, so the chances of rejection are dramatically reduced. I won't need implants anymore. And um, most importantly, it should eliminate some of the pain and it'll look more like my natural breast. On the downside, it's gonna look more like my natural breast, the former girls, not like the perfectly perky Barbie breasts that I thought implants would be for me. That is not gonna be my fate. Also, unlike other, uh, like any other organ transplant, there's a chance that it could fail, and in that case, I end up with just a flat chest. This is not vanity. Unfortunately, I have been advised that this condition is only going to continue to get worse and the pain may get worse as well. And I shouldn't have to live with pain. No one should have to live with pain, right? So for now, I'm turning to Bluebell. Or rather, I'm turning Bluebell into a B cup. Or maybe bigger. We'll see. <laughs>